Our model is building healthy communities one tree at a time. And when I say building community, it's bringing all segments of community together to make it happen. From the young people, to the old people, to the homeless on the block, whatever it takes. <laughs> That's building community. I don't know if you guys know my story, but I, I uh, worked at Soledad Prison um, prior to coming here. And while working at Soledad, I saw a lot of young people that, to me, really needed jobs. So, you know, I wanted to start a program that would um, both help the environment, but at the same time, you know, work with the young people to be stewards of the environment. And On a I, recent um, August morning, the Forest California Service joined Relief. with many Where's partners to celebrate the work of Kemba Shakur and Urban Relief, a small, nonprofit organization that plants trees and provides jobs in the poorer neighborhoods of Oakland, California. I think Kemba's passion is planting trees, restoring her neighborhood, and trying to help her community all, all at the same time. And Sandy Macias for making it happen. Sandy, Sandy Macias manages the urban and community forestry program for the Forest Service in California. This program is part of the agency's state and private forestry branch. I know most people, when you talk about the Forest Service, you think mainly of rural areas. But what we don't ever think about is our influence and impact into the urban communities. And really, we have a state and private program that is a big part of what the Forest Service does. And when you think about it, why shouldn't it be? 94% of the state's population in California occur in urban areas. The Forest Service has been supportive in, in many ways, from assisting us with funding to coming out to our events. And they've also been very instrumental in working with us on our research projects. We have a lot of experts that help our partners with the technical aspects of urban forestry. You know, GIS and mapping and canopy cover, and yeah, that's all important. But I think, I think we need to bring it down to earth too and, and, and make sure that we stay connected with the people and we're addressing their needs. Oakland is one of the urban areas hardest hit by the recent economic downturn and leads the state in homicide rates. It's tough working in a community where so many young people are impacted by violence and unemployment and need education. She has the, you know, this group of, of young boys working with her and over the years, I mean, at least once or twice a year, one of them is killed. We've had a lot of losses here at Urban Relief and um, it's been really sad. She works really hard to make sure she has a place where kids can come and feel safe and receive guidance and hopefully a job. Did you go to the filming class? We definitely want to do more to motivate them to go to college and to pushing them to succeed in whatever they want to do. We used to count trees planted, we don't do that anymore. We count population, community served. But there's something else that's planted when you plant these trees. Something that Kemba Shakur has brought with this effort, which is to plant hope. And Kemba, I cannot thank you enough for the work that you do. Because the only reason that these efforts can be successful is that it takes community leadership. I enjoy people and community and trees has just been a natural way to, to affect lives and change communities for the better.